It's graduation season, so we headed over to Pembroke High School to get a different take on high school graduation from the vantage of its art department. In nearly every art room, in every school, in every town, in every state across America, there are certain elements that can only be found within the confines of these four walls and no other classroom in the school. Here in this universe, buckets of used paint brushes sit on the edges of sinks like lakefront properties. Countertops are covered in construction paper, just in case that squished bottle of acrylic paint erupts. Without art class, it's entirely possible that the world would never have learned about the color magenta, burnt sienna, or any burnt color for that matter. And really, aside from the annual art show, it's pretty rare that the contents of this room are ever even seen by outsiders. That all changed when the art department at Pembroke High School decided to turn the entire school into a canvas. We were hoping to basically improve the school, like the, out, the overall look of the school. And they started, the kids basically started off researching an art, like a famous artist. They found a famous artist, they did their own small painting of it, and then they put it on the wall. Easier said than done. Many of these young artists transpose the images from their smartphones onto the concrete block walls. Yep, no tracing paper or overhead projector for assistance either. Of course, this isn't the first semi-permanent art to be put on display. All one needs to do is look at the ceiling tiles in several places throughout the school. The ceiling art we've been doing for maybe seven years, so it's just a way for the kids to leave something behind. So you can see like my ceiling's already almost full. So now we're out into the hallway. Um, teachers request them. Sometimes kids want to do them for other teachers. So now they're in like other teachers' classrooms. And that's just like a way for the kids to like leave their mark behind in the school. At the time of this interview, the school was also gearing up for its annual art show. Students from all grades and art classes lined the walls and filled the halls with their pieces. This hall here on the third floor was set aside for seniors only. It's basically like their like studio space, like it's their space, the seniors take care of it all. Um, they bring in work from freshman year all the way up until their senior year and it's really, really cool. You get to see like all of the stuff that they've done in the four years. In a teacher's life, students come and go. It's just the natural cycle. And while teachers are instructors and disciplinarians, there's a nurturing component to their job, particularly in art where the progression is so palpable. It's awesome to see, like, I've known them since freshmen, so to see their artwork as seniors, too, because I get to see, like, the improvements from freshman year to senior year. But, yeah, I know, I'm so happy for them, and they, and, but it's time for them to move on. I'm excited, but it, it is sad. I almost, like, walked one girl out of the school the other day because I, it was like she was my own daughter, and I was, like, walking her off to college because it was, like, you know, it was kind of sad. But as one class leaves for good, a new one will soon join the ranks in just a few short months, and the cycle will start all over again. Meanwhile, those rooms with the brushes, wooden modeling figures, and paints will still be there, tucked away in the corner on the third floor at Pembroke High School. This place is a really fun place to be, uh, but we expect people to work hard and be nice. Like, be nice to people, it's a great environment in here, but work hard on your artwork. We don't just play, we're like, really work, like the kids are like, really like producing some awesome artwork. In Pembroke, for PCN Life, I'm Brian Sullivan.